Hi all. Uh, okay, so another pregnancy update. Uh, my week 20 to 24 and the week 25. So I just filmed my week 22 and 3 uh, updates and uh, still have to post them, but I'm gonna film this video and post them both at the same time. As I mentioned in my previous video, and you haven't still heard it because I haven't posted, I'm a month behind. Uh, but um, today I will, um, I'm, it's the first day of my week 26, but I'm gonna post the week 24 and uh, 25, like with the tape these, and uh, then when I post it, I will be not behind anymore. Uh, okay, week 24, November 1st to November 2nd. So basically the first day of uh, end of daylight saving and we have got one more hour to sleep which we didn't so we went to work earlier we tried to kind of stay with our habit of getting early and um, and the night before actually I uh, yeah well, November 21st was Sunday so November 22nd I went to work everything was fine I was fine and uh, basically nothing bad and if you know that I was sick uh, like I was sick the you don't still know like I keep forgetting that I have not still posted my previous video so I was sick the two um, weeks before on my week 22 I was totally sick I was good for week uh, 23 and uh, week 24 uh, November the 3rd, I was at work and uh, the night before, basically November 22nd night, I started getting terrible, terrible stomach pain, like belly pain and uh, I, like it was all my abdominal area. So I did not know where it is. I thought it's just a pregnancy, my uterus is uh, getting bigger and pulling and I had terrible, terrible pain all over and I didn't know if it's my bowels or whatever it is but basically had so much pain and it expanded uh, extended to my pubic area uh, pubic bones and uh, had so much pain and foot ache and everything so leg cramps whatever painful it came that night November 22nd night and um, basically I did not sleep the whole night I did not sleep and I was total wreck, like total wreck, November 3rd at work and we had a big meeting and everyone was like giving me somewhere to sit and um, uh, offering me their seats and uh, they were like, everyone was like, well, how, how is it going? Like, uh, is, it, is everything okay? You look so tired and yeah, I knew that I was, I looked so miserable and my manager said, you're coming down with something I know that I was like total wreck at that day looking total sick and with terrible pain and then in the midday after lunch kind of terrible stomach pain started and uh, I could tell that it's stomach and bowels and I started getting diarrhea and um, so basically I went bathroom like seven six times that day uh, throughout the day and uh, it was got worse at night uh, the same night I um, I couldn't sleep like I had to go to bathroom and I had diarrhea and it was just sorry so much TMI but it's diarrhea right <laughs> so basic kind of stomach flu it was kind of stomach flu and um, it was just water I was losing just water and uh, there was nothing in my stomach I could not eat anything if I wanted to eat even a little if, if, I, not, if I wanted to drink water a sip of water I would end up getting terrible stomach ache so um, basically November 4th worked from home because I was so sick and also I wanted to visit my family doctor regarding my heartbeat and stuff like that and um, and after appointment, I was supposed to work again, but I just emailed my manager saying that I'm so sick and I cannot work. But I've developed some kind of uh, stomach sickness. And uh, November 5th, I was terribly sick. I called sick and uh, I, I don't have my computer with me and I was so sick that I could not work. Basically, I went 
bathroom around 20 times and it was horrible like terrible I was all the time in pain I could not eat anything I was like I wasn't even hungry because my stomach was already full like everything what stayed in my stomach so um, my husband said just go to doctor and I said I'm so sick I can't even move so I waited for him to come home and we went to a walking clinic and the doctor saw me said you shouldn't have come here you should have gone directly to ER and I rushed to ER and the doctor said you need an IV because you're pregnant you don't want to risk getting dehydrated and uh, harming your baby so basically I went to ER I got a gravel and uh, basically an IV um, so they added the gravel to my IV and um, they did a blood test for kind of to see if there is infection they did actually a culture test for bladder infection that my family doctor is supposed to receive the results so they haven't called me probably I didn't have a bladder infection but I don't know why for diarrhea they would do a culture test for bladder infection but um, and the doctor said yeah you are getting dehydrated but it's it's like you need an IV because you're pregnant so um, and one thing that I did not say to doctor and I did not know if it is serious my aunt is a nurse today I talked to her and I mentioned what to, because she was uh, to, in Mexico like she went on a trip to Mexico and she just came back so I told her what happened and she said like it was my when I threw up it was sorry sorry so TMI but it was just like poo so I never had this kind of vomiting when I vomited every time whether it is it is food or stomach acid or just plain water uh, but this time I vomited and it looked like just diarrhea poop like brown and when I told it to my aunt she said that's dangerous it means that there was blood in your uh, stomach so uh, they call it cafe something I don't know um, so yeah and they say that's a serious thing like they always ask you what color is your vomiting stuff and uh, they want not to be brown but it was brown so yeah that was it and uh, the next day I stayed home the next day was uh, November 6th and I'm like reading from my notes so that's my eyes are that's why my eyes are down all the time but sorry about that November 6th I was sick um, Friday like I was still sick and um, midday uh, Friday uh, diarrhea stopped but I was so so lethargic and basically I was totally dizzy and uh, I just I was in bed for the whole day kind of sleeping and waking up uh, I ate a little bit but uh, still I had terrible like um, I was, I was so bloated and I my stomach was so full and I wanted to throw up but I'm I'm quite a bit of expert as at not letting myself throw up so when I throw up it means that it's totally out of control but because I had I've had acid reflux all over my life I know that I I like how to how to not let myself vomit so I kind of didn't let myself vomit because when I vomit and if it is acidy it's gonna burn my throat and ears and nose and I get sore throat and so much problems after that but eventually I vomited again and it was again some like a brownish thing so I didn't know that serious but after that like after vomiting terribly like right after vomiting I get bad sore throat ears nose basically my mouth was sore and developing blisters and it was like throwing up sulfuric acid with a kilos of chili powder in it it was so hot like terrible burning all over my throat so that was what it was in my stomach but after that it was like a relief of my stomach so I felt much better after that but still lethargic for a couple of days so that was Friday that I'm talking about so uh, I was all the time in bed and this Saturday as well I was all the time in bed and basically 
that you can tell why I'm I can't keep up with my uh, pregnancy updates because I don't want to film myself looking like shh. So yeah, and I couldn't if I if I would if I wanted I couldn't even like stay awake. I was so lethargic, and I lost lots of weight again, back to eighty uh, from around fifty nine point nine kilos. Um, we're like 60 kilos around um, uh, 130 um, to 33 kilo, uh, pounds. I went back, by the end of that week, I went back to 128 uh, pounds or 58.2 kilos. So basically, I lost just under 2 kilos again. And my, however, my belly is growing like no matter how much weight and gain uh, weight I lose um, my belly is growing and um, at that time it was 37.5 inches um, comparing to pregnancy with Dylan um, even if I was smaller I don't know if was it my weight loss because um, comparing um, no, actually, I don't have a comparison for my waist, but for weight, when I was pregnant 24 weeks with Dylan, I was 60.6 .6 kilos, much more fat. <laughs> well, much uh, like I gained much more at that time, but uh, so at the end of uh, 24 weeks, this pregnancy, I was 58.2 kilos. With Dylan, I was 60.6 .6 kilos, so I was thinner this time. Not a bad thing, right? I know that's not healthy, but um, I don't know. If you had a terrible postpartum, overweight postpartum, like the just fat period that I had, you would be happy if you don't gain weight, don't gain weight enough like that much during next pregnancy. So I'm happy about that. I had no complaint about my weight, and my doctor was happy. So my doctor did not complain um, uh, at all. Okay, so that was about my week uh, 24. Now week 25. Uh, started November 8 to November 14 and um, okay here how oh, interesting thing interesting note from pregnancy with Dylan when I was 25 pregnant uh, week pregnant with Dylan Dylan had a name so we knew that we we're gonna name him Dylan but right now I have no idea still what I want to name my baby. I have like four names, four, three to four names in my list and the two of them I really like and I kind of cannot decide. I even like the other two, so I don't know. Um, some people hate them all, some people love them all, so um, I might come up with another video regarding baby names. Um, kind of discuss it and tell you what are the names and what I, what I like about them, what I don't like, and um, what makes me hesitate. Uh, but um, yeah, so okay, back to my pregnancy update. That was baby name <laughs> update. <laughs> pregnancy update. Um, November the eighth, I felt better. That was the start of the week. November nine, I was I was much better. So I worked. I I was. I went to work at November 10 I had my OB appointment and when I'm saying better I mean in terms of diarrhea and um, the um, stomach flu that I have not in terms of stress heart palpitation tiredness weakness total, total being lethargic and things that I'm experiencing with this pregnancy and uh, nausea all the time basically uh, November 10th and at work everything was getting much worse again it was another stressful week at work and my manager is out of control basically someone needs to control him but yeah what can I do right they if I complain they'll say don't want to work go but I really really love where I work so I love my workplace I don't like my manager like no one likes him so 
that's it. And uh, it makes things difficult, especially now that I'm pregnant. I feel like being discriminated against because everyone works from home, I can't. Um, and uh, so many other things. <laughs> Don't want to nag about work, whatever. Uh, okay, November 10th, 10th, I had OB appointment. So I was at work and then by the end of, at the end of the day, I went to my OB appointment. Oh, an example of my manager being savage is that I had sent him, I sent him always my OB appointments when I get them. And I sent him a reminder a couple of days before and like two days yeah, before. And uh, basically I had told him and he had agreed and I had sent him a reminder. Now on the date that I wanted to go actually on November 10th in the morning as soon as I got to work it was so stressful environment he was fighting with everyone and we had a meeting and there was so many problems I basically told him forget to tell him right in the morning that yeah today I want to leave so around a couple of hours before the time I had to leave I told him and he said no you can't go so I was like what it's my OB appointment you can't you can't not let me but gave me so much attitude and uh, so many bad things he uses f word a lot so it's, that's like his language and for everything he uses like terrible words and yeah so yeah and um, basically eventually I went to my appointment no one can prevent me from going to my ob appointments and uh, I talked to my OB, I heard the baby, everything was fine about the baby. My doctor was happy with my weight gain, didn't care that I lost, but then I gained it back. So he was happy, she was, sorry, she was happy with the baby, heartbeat and my fundal height and the urine test and everything that we do. And, um, and uh, when I, I opened up to my OB and I explained her everything and I kind of, when I started, I started crying because I was so, so stressed out that day. Like, at work, my manager gave me such a hard time and I was so stressed out that, like, usually when I get stressed, it physically uh, makes me sick. So, if you stress me out, you'll make me sick. Like, it's just a virus for me. So basically I was totally sick and drowsy and dizzy, like I get dizzy a lot. Dizzy with terrible heart palpitation and kind of like a panic attack by the end of the day when I went to my OB. So as soon as she said, how is, is it going with you? I started crying and explained what's going on. And basically she, um, uh, reg um, concerning the circumstances and all the uh, stress and terrible situation that I'm experiencing she recommended sick leave before my uh, going uh, before going on math leave I don't know I haven't still thought about that but I'm like sick all the time so if I don't even go on sick sick leave I'm gonna get sick every week and call, call sick all the time so uh, the rest of the time that I go to work, I'm still not feeling well. I'm so weak and sick, honestly sick, but um, that's it. Yeah, that's my condition for now. I hope when I go on mat, mat leave and baby comes, I stay at home for a year because we have a nice mat leave in Canada. So I'm really, really happy about that and I appreciate uh, my situation that I can have uh, a mat leave of a year and take care of my baby and don't send her to daycare uh, when she's still a baby. Okay, back to my OB appointment. She gave me a requisition for another blood work and also my glucose test. And she said, do both in two weeks from now. So I have to uh, basically, in about two weeks, I have to go and do my glucose test and another. Uh, set of blood work for my iron level and things like that and um, and also she said she's gonna uh, send me doc like paperwork and stuff for sick leave I don't know if that's gonna work if I haven't still talked to my HR uh, I'll see how it goes because right now that I'm talking to you you 
you see me you think that I'm well but it's like I've taken shower put on makeup and trying to stay calm and looking good and like as, as good as I can at this point and uh, you don't see me how I was like an hour ago or how I be, will be by the end of the night so yeah that's for now my life <laughs> nothing to smile even about but whatever um, 14 November 14 yesterday I had all my measurement taken yesterday November 14 basically the end of week 25 weight is 59.9 again so I gained back the weight I lost through my stomach flu and it's about 132 pounds uh, my waist is 38 inches and at pregnancy with Dylan at 25 weeks at the end of 25 weeks I was 38.2 inches that's an interesting number 0.2 inches less I'm um, this time I always thought that my belly was much smaller and I'm like about a month ahead in terms of waist size but no actually I'm 0.2 inches smaller this time nice <laughs> and uh, my weight with pregnancy with Dylan was 60 51.8 kilos it is 59.9 kilos right now so basically 60 kilos right now it was around 62 kilos back then so around less than just less than uh, two kilos or just less than three and something pounds around four pounds uh, less this time with this pregnancy by the way I don't know when that when that brown line appeared with Dylan but it has not still appeared on my belly I'm so happy about that because that's ugly uh, it's for most women it's under their belly button down like it's a line brown line straight straight from their belly button down but for me it was all my belly like from uh, from my um, I don't know like all my belly it was from my belly button down and up and this time it hasn't happened yet. I hope I don't get it. I don't know. I don't like that. Bra extension, yeah, I've started from uh, around two, three weeks before wearing bras, bra extensions. Uh, not major cha uh, change in terms of cup size, but uh, my ribs are under pressure, so much pressure now. And I don't want to give them harder time so I'm wearing bra extensions and um, belly button is coming out more like it's not still flattened or anything like that but I can tell uh, with Dylan at, even at the end of my pregnancy my belly button did not poke out but it was flattened totally flat this time I think it's gonna come out so I don't know still in but very less deep like it's not deep at all like it's close to being flat and friends let me show you my belly eventually and here's my belly at 25 weeks my baby is look at me all the time yay so yeah that's how i look <laughs> So yeah, I especially wore this tank for the purpose of my belly to show so I can show it to you totally. And I hope you like this update. Um, I hope that I can post videos weekly, but if I'm so sick or anything like that, uh, if I don't get time um, that I'm well and everything is... Um, I cooperating in terms of giving me time to do an update then I won't but anyways I like to post weekly uh, give me a thumbs up if you like this video and if you are not subscribed please subscribe I'll be so happy when I see that number going up I don't know why like I have just a little uh, community of subscribers around 45 now something like that I know that I 
I like to get more subscribers. So I like you to stay with me and have more friends. I have. Uh, I like to have people that I can talk to. Have a good day. Bye.